Hi everyone, Tanya here again. Uh, today I'm going to capture some birds in flight and I thought that while I'm waiting for some more sun to appear, because I'm here pretty early, that I would go through my technique and some camera settings that I use. Okay, so today I've got my camera on a tripod and that's just because I'm going to be showing you my camera settings. But when I start shooting these birds as they uh, start landing and taking off, I'm going to be uh, hand holding the camera. And so the reason for this is I just find hand holding is a lot more comfortable for me. I can track the birds a lot easier. Now, when I'm on a tripod, I always have my stabilizer turned off and I actually keep it off when I'm photographing birds in flight. And the reason for this is because my shutter speed is always fast enough that I don't need it. I'm usually shooting at like one, one thousandth of a second or more. And another reason is when I'm using our servo, which I use for birds in flight, I find the focusing tracking keeps, um, keeps up with the birds a lot easier and I get a lot more hits when I have that image stabilization turned off. I set manual mode for birds in flight. I set one one thousandth of a second minimum. Uh, the sun hasn't fully come up, but as the sun comes up, I'll change that because ideally I want one two thousandth of a second. I have f4.5 at the moment, and again, that's because of the low light. So as, as I get more light, I'll increase that to, I like it to be around f8 ideally. And I set my ISO to auto. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not taking note of my ISO. When I take a test shot, if it's too high, what I'll do is I'll decrease the shutter speed or lower the F number to get the ISO that I want. I don't, personally, I don't like going over 3200 on this camera. This is a 7D Mark II. Okay, I use standard picture style. I'm using auto white balance today. I use high continuous shooting and the El Servo of course which is called AFC on other brands. So what I normally do is I get up at 5am and I come down to the beach here and the first thing I take note of is the wind and so what you want is as we know birds uh, land into the wind and so this is great for photographers to know because when they also land into the wind it means that they're a lot slower. So today we've got the wind coming from this direction here so the birds are landing in this direction. Um, ideally what you want is you want both the sun and the wind at your back but today I don't really have that but it will be side on light so that's going to be just as good. That's my second preference. Okay, so just by observing the birds, I now know what direction I'm going to be shooting and what sort of compositions I'm going to be getting. Okay, so the light's starting to come in now, so I'm gonna get ready to take some awesome shots of birds in flight, hopefully. So I just wanted to point out a few other things, like um, as I said before, I don't use my tripod for birds in flight, I hand hold. Um, I also have my elbows tucked in and I move from my hips. So you just take a wide stand and you move from your hips to follow a bird. What you don't want is to be out here and you're like this trying to follow a bird and you'll get um, less hit rates. So put your elbows in and just move from your hips to follow birds. Now I know the birds are going to be landing this way so today I'll be like following it like this or I'll just be hopefully straight on and get them as they come into the camera. Um, another technique is because you're going to be using um, a long telephoto lens for this, so I use my 100 to 400 mm, normally between 3 and 400 mm, depending on how far away the bird is, because I want to make sure I've got all the wings for it. So you, have, you need to be able to see the bird and lock onto it very quick. And so what I do is I always keep my eye near the rear view, and, so, and you keep both eyes open, and as soon as you see a bird, you, you're straight onto it. So like if you're like looking like this and then suddenly you see a bird and you're like this, your hit rate's gonna be a lot less. Okay, so I'm just gonna change position because I noticed the birds are landing more over in this direction today. Okay, I'm finding my ISO is 800 and I'm a lot more comfortable going higher than that. So the first thing I'm gonna change is my f-stop because I want it to be at, at least 7.1 or eight. And this is because when a seagull lands, I want its wings and its body to be in focus. 
So I'll take another test shot now and see what the auto ISO shows. Okay, now in this light, because uh, the sun's starting to come up, it's now at 1000 ISO. And again, I'm still comfortable going higher than that. So what I'm going to do next is increase my shutter speed up to the ideal 1 2000th of a second. So I like it to be 1 2000th of a second, F8, and then auto ISO, as long as the ISO isn't too high. So as I said, I'm comfortable going 3200. Okay, so I'll try and show you what my camera settings are now. Okay, so now hopefully this is focusing properly with the GoPro. So like F8, 1 2000th of a second and auto ISO. And now what we've got to do is wait for some flying birds. Okay, so just another thing that um, I do is I, I like to, as, as I'm following the bird, what I do is I half press the shutter and just keep the focus on it the whole time. It's important to also, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but it's important to shoot in soft light. So one thing beginners, uh, uh, one of the mistakes beginners make is they shoot in really harsh lighting. And so they'll have like a big contrast between light and shade. But here I've got like about a half an hour before sunrise and up to two hours afterwards is very soft lighting. So that's, for me, that's perfect for bird photography. Now, another thing I love to do is I love to uh, sit on the ground because um, it means you can get in-flight looking shots uh, as the bird is landing. So I have a photo that I took last week or the week before and it had um, a bird looking up at the landing bird, but the landing bird was obviously still in flight because I was low. But if I was standing up, say tripod height um, or normal height I'd have been shooting down like this and it wouldn't have looked like a landing shot at all or a, fl a flight shot but this way I can go like this and even when they're landing up to like say I don't know double the height of the seagull it looks like it's still an in-flight shot. Sweet. We're going to get another rain shower again now. I tried to do this during the week and it was just, we had like torrential rain all week and it was just useless. So um, we ended up, as soon as we come down, it started raining, so we packed up and went home again. Now again, my light's changed and it's showing my auto ISO is showing as ISO 800, which to be honest with you, I don't like ISO 800 on any camera because I think that it's the, uh, the lesser end of ISO. For some reason, ISO 800 is more noisy than ISO uh, 2000 on my cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my shutter speed. Uh, my shutter speed is 2500 and then from here on in I, don't, I won't need a faster shutter speed than that so what I'll do then is just drop the ISO until it's at about 400 and just like a couple of weeks ago we've got another rainbow over this direction. Sweet! flock of birds flying through the rainbow. It was awesome. 